In this video, I'm gonna show you four things you can do using the masking tool. Hey there, welcome to another video. I'm Mark Brown from Editor's Keys. And if you're new to this channel, we teach you everything from filmmaking to editing. So if you're into that kind of thing, consider subscribing to the channel because that's what we're all about. Now, this video is all about four things you can do with masking. So let's jump into the first one. Number one, color grading separate areas of the same piece of footage. So let's say you've got a shot and you want the person's face to be brighter, but you don't want to brighten the whole shot you can easily use the masking tool to do this. So draw a mask around the person's face. And then turn the feathering up to make it much smoother. Then go to the beginning of your clip and go over to the play button here and press play. This will track the person's face through the whole clip. Then duplicate the layer by holding down the Alt key and then go to your bottom layer and delete the mask. Now on your top layer, you can adjust anything on the Lumetri color and it will only adjust this section. This is a great technique if you want to brighten the subject of a face and bring more attention to it. You can use this same technique for almost anything as well. So let's say you want to play around with the temperature of a certain place in your shot for artistic purposes and just repeat this process like so. Number two, cinemagraphs. So there are two ways of making a cinemagraph. The first and the most easiest way is simply getting a clip and duplicating it. Add frame hold for the clip below and then mask out the part you want to have moving in the shot and there you go. The next way is a little more complex and that's when you use a clean shot. The reason for the empty shot is so that you can mask out certain objects such as poles to make things look like they're floating. So duplicate the clip by holding down the option key and then drag it into a new track above the original clip. So now you have two copies of the clip as well as a clean plate. Then turn off the visibility on the top one and draw a mask around the pole and invert it. Because you have an empty shot, it will look like nothing was ever there. Now right click, add frame hold. Now enable the top track and draw a mask around the coffee coming out. Now set your playback on repeat. Now if you want this smoother, cut the middle of the clip and swap them over. Then add a morph cut to make this cut even smoother. Remember, to make cinema graphs, your shot has to be as smooth as possible. So only shoot on a tripod. Number three, you can use this to remove an object from a shot. So say you want to get rid of a certain object in a scene. Here we've got a clip of this woman on a beach. And let's say you'd like to take the woman out and just have the beach. All you have to do is duplicate the layer but holding down the Alt key and then mask around a section that you could use to cover it. And then just drag this over it and turn up the feathering. You can edit the mask at any time by going over and clicking Mask 1. Just remember, this will only work for certain shots, so take that into consideration when trying this one out. Number four is using masking with text effects. Now, a really cool way that you can use masking is by making your text seem much more 3D, by making it a part of the scene. Well, it's really easy, and you can do this with almost anything that's moving. So all you have to do, 
is draw a mask around your text. And then enable the keyframes and then feather a bit. Then with each frame, mask out the text as the leg passes through it until it's completely gone. And there you go. Now also, if you like the look of this text or the font here on this footage, this is actually an Editor's Keys original font. So if you wanna get this for free, you can go to our website, I'll put a link in the description below, and you can get this font absolutely for free. So check it out. So there we go, I hope this little video has helped you. You know, masking can be so useful at fixing your edits. And if you've got any questions about what you've seen today, or if there's just something that's bugging you, leave a question below. As I promise, we do get back to every single question. And remember, if you wanna learn more about filmmaking or editing, equipment, that kind of stuff, we've got a ton of videos on the channel. So go watch the rest of those, and we'll see you in the next video.